Hello. Bernie. official trailer from madman films madman films i've never heard of madman films and i wasn't sure if it was bona fide and it turns out they probably are but what caught my attention was the picture of what looks like matthew mcconaughey jack black shirley mclean it turns out it's Jack Black and Shirley MacLaine. And I haven't confirmed if that's Matthew McConaughey, but I'm 90% sure it is. And Bernie, well, my first thought was, <laughs> somebody's made a film on Benny Hill because <laughs> he had a song called Bernie, the fastest milkman in the West. Uh, I've seen, it looks obviously if it's Jack Black, it must be a comedy. He's got a moustache, so he's obviously, uh, I don't, it's probably some sort of smarmy kind of character. I don't know anything about this. Uh, the guy on the left is wearing a cowboy hat. So is this perhaps Burt Reynolds territory, maybe? We've all got some links to Burt Reynolds here. Was Bernie a nickname for Burt? Probably not. Anyway, as I say, I haven't got a, I haven't got a Scooby Doo what this film is about. So without further ado, let's get cracking. It came out 14 hours ago, so here we go. Can I tell you, I am not fond of cremations. I just don't like the idea of someone spending eternity in something the size of a motel ice bucket. <laughs> He was the nicest guy in town. He was about the most popular man in Carthage. Real people, person. Just made you feel real good about yourself. It's like he cast a spell over the entire area. Room service. And she was just a mean old widow. She used to tear up my toys. She pulled the heads off my dolls. Well, there's some goodness in there, too. Who says opposites don't attract? She doesn't have anyone. She's a very lonely person. She needs someone. Uh, you sure about that? From the director of School of Rock and Dazed and Confused. It was widely assumed that Bernie was accompanying her places. Oh, yeah. Bernie took her everywhere. They went to Russia, Acapulco, New York City. They went to Europe. Always first class. He bought jet skis, nine cars. Uh, this spring somewhere along the way it was just bernie he was her servant she was demanding you should have been here hours ago condescending all i want is for you to be a man for once in your life <laughs> even conniving i know you hate me no everybody else i don't know how the guy stood it a woman like that with a bad heart he should have just shoved the pillow right over her face There are people in town, honey, that would have shot her for five dollars. Everybody's describing Bernie T as an angel. The nicest fella I've ever met. He didn't do it. He's an angel, all right. An angel of death. <laughs> that dog don't hunt. Jack Black, Shirley MacLaine, Matthew McConaughey. The wheel of misfortune. If your number comes up, Danny Buck's coming to get you first. Bernie. In the freezer? Yeah. All in one piece or chopped up? One piece. Frozen like a popsicle. I've just watched it back again just to see if I missed anything. And, uh, well, it's 
far removed from a biopic on Burt Reynolds, that's for sure. Um, it's directed by Richard Linklater. I've heard that name, I'm not sh sure what he's directed. Um, so that was Matthew McConaughey. I don't know what to say really, it's, um, I'm actually tongue-tied. It's hard to, it's, if it's based on a true story and somebody got murdered and they're making light of it, it it's more of a tragedy than a comedy. Uh, so, I mean, there is a there is a Reynolds in the cast, music by Graham Reynolds. So maybe there is some underlining link to the late Burt Reynolds. But I'm not sure if it's if it's a film I'm going to watch. I. I do like Jack Black. I haven't seen him in many things. I have seen him in House of Rock. I think that's about the only thing I have seen him in. And he was the voice of Bowser in the, uh, the Super Mario Brothers movie, which I quite enjoyed. I thought, I thought that was brilliant. So, but House of Rock, you know, if you only made one film and it was the, the School of Rock, sorry then then that's fine he's he's made one classic i reckon so it's it did made me it made me think of these true crime a lot of true I and mean, we've got a channel that's devoted well maybe more than one channel that's devoted to true crimes and i do i do find that fascinating to watch and this was like watching that But I can't. I don't think it, it's a. It's hard to call it a comedy when, obviously, we know what what happens to Shirley MacLaine's character in the film. I'm not saying it's a bad film. It's sort of a docu pick, isn't it? In fact, because you've got people talking to the camera about Bernie and the woman he obviously killed. Did he kill her? I don't know. I don't know the story. Maybe he, we were supposed to think he killed her. And those in the know know what, what happened and I don't. But I'm glad I re reviewed it. It it does look um, worth watching. I don't know. If I, I don't think... I, I can't see myself watching it. And... I think there's going to be a lot of laugh out moments where you shouldn't be laughing out loud. <laughs> but a story had to be told of Bernie and Shirley McLean's character. So it's good to document it. I don't know how the families of Bernie and Shirley McLean's character will react to this film. It's it says it inspired by the article in Texas Monthly, hence the hat, by Skip Hollinsworth, who co-wrote the screenplay with the director, Richard Linklater. So, uh, I've seen it twice. It's a docu-pick. Ooh, to call it a comedy sometimes a tragedy can be a comedy it's just don't want to get into hot water here but yes um, I'm sure it's it'll take a someone tickle someone's fancy but not yours truly I'm afraid I'm not taking the performances away from anyone Especially Shirley MacLaine and Jack Black. 
but you know it might become a sleeper hit and uh, you know it'll be definitely worth watching based on the trailer I think we know what we're getting here um, I thought you should play it for laughs and then I thought no it's a true story you know when he, he looks at the gun I thought maybe if she's got a bad heart condition he could have slammed the door shut and that would have Oh, I thought that would have been funny, but of course, um, it's a true story and you're not supposed to make light of it. It's funny, peculiar, but not funny, ha-ha. Not that it's not funny, ha-ha, but the, the subject matter. Anyway, so there you go. That was Bernie, uh, starring Jack Black. Shirley MacLaine and Matthew McConaughey, directed by Richard Linklater. I'm not sure when it's coming out, actually. When's it coming out? Don't know. So that's it. Thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.